if you were a student of literature or arts in the last three or four years in any college in Goa, we had a book on the syllabus called God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. That book solely changed my life. There are lots of other books out there, novelists, authors, who give you such work of wisdom that it can shake the fiber in your body, like The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho or The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. There are many such books that I have read through the years that have molded me, shaped me, and given me the chance to be a better human being. Well, behind every such book is a writer, is an author who's put in time, energy, effort, dedication, and a lot of research to bring out such a wonderful book. You at Utopia, we're very glad to have with us a young Goan talent who has published his own book. So, Edma, so good to have you here. Uh, tell us something about yourself. Well, like you said, I'm Edmund Barreto. I have finished my graduation in St. Xavier's College, Mapsa, and I've enrolled for admissions in Goa University, Taligaon. So who's at home, Edma? Uh, well, I, st I live with my parents, of course, father, mother, and my brother. All right, so he's a younger brother, elder brother? He's elder to me. All elder siblings are bullies. I know it, I am one, so <laughs> sorry for that. But uh, do your parents read a lot? Well, they are not readers, but my father started reading just two days back and he finished my book. Oh, good. So that's a good place to start, your book, you know, to start off with. Um, do you remember the first book that ever made you cry? Well, a book didn't make me cry, but a lot of videos did. So, yeah, videos made me cry. Videos made you cry. Oh, okay. So I know a lot of people who have an emotional connect with a book and, you know, then they go ahead and uh, start writing. What made you start writing? Uh, what I believe is everyone is a writer. I mean, everyone has a story to tell. So definitely they will have emotions if they have a story to tell. True. So with that, they do have emotions and they do write. So, yeah. Wow. So everybody is a writer and everybody can write. Uh, I know of a lot of, you know, youngsters, including myself, when we're young and we write a poem or we write something nice, you know, and everybody goes like, wow, you should, you know, write. And as we grow older, we kind of don't have faith in that creative instinct anymore. Uh, what made you go ahead and write and publish your work? Well, I had written my current book almost three years ago. And then I asked my friends, how is it? I told them to read it. It's like, how is it? How is it? So they told me it's really good. You should go forward with publishing. So that's how I went with it for publishing. Very nice. So you have to have good friends who encourage yeah. you. That's also very Definitely. important. Um, I believe you told me, Edma told me, that you did not tell your mom till about one year back. So you had the book already written for two years. Yeah. And then, you know, the family came to know that you write. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, tell us about you writing scripts for the arts. Well, uh, three years ago, I started writing for Tiyats and I wrote mini scripts, like one of them won the best uh, Tiyat award for Kala Academy competition. What was the name of that Tiyat, do you remember? It was Full Te Full. It was a Full Te Full, yeah. Yeah. What was the theme of this? Uh, it was related to a girl, you know, falling in love with a Hindu guy. And so it was an inter-religion no. kind of uh, yeah. relationship, yeah. love between inter-religion. How does someone so young like you, three years back, you would have been even younger. How does someone so young understand such, uh, you know, valid emotions and put it down on paper? Well, in that case, my textbook supported a lot. Uh, like, you know, we have subjects like in Hindi, Konkani. We have those these chapters, you know, evolving yes. around these issues. So that's wow. how. Okay. So that's the first time when someone... You know, I'm, I'm hearing from uh, someone that your educational textbooks in school, college gave you uh, the creative juices to write yes. about such an emotional subject. That's really nice. Um, when you went ahead and wrote for the arts, which I believe was in Konkani, and then writing in English, was, was there any difficulty? Do you like writing in Konkani better, in English better? Uh, well, I always preferred English because I started my journey with English writings and then suddenly I moved to Konkani because this Tiyad Academy forced me to write. <laughs> forced him. Remember, Edma was forced to write in Konkani. So I started doing that and then simultaneously I went for English and then yeah. Alright. So, uh, Edma, what was the first 
piece of work as a writer that you wrote do you remember uh, well it was a english skit i had written it for uh, the teachers day in school do you remember what it was about it was related to some teachers and all right and how old were you then uh, i don't know how old i was but i was in eighth standard for sure wow so from eighth standard to a graduate uh, who has gone ahead and published his own book um what kept you writing for so many years well I just like to write. I all before going to bed, I always write. So oh. that is a habit. Is that a, a a routine that you have made? You write before going to bed? Not a routine, kind of, but I do write. I had this diary writing, and then I moved to laptop computer writing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So from you know you use yeah. technology now to write. Yeah. Um. We've heard that your book is on Amazon. It's on Flipkart. It is of course uh you know uh, in hardbound paperback to be bought. uh we want to tell our viewers because there are a lot of students out there who are writing uh, who probably don't have that much faith in their writing but if they do get approved from their friends and family what's the process to get published well like you said if they have some material written down they got to search publishers publish in mean, goa at least we don't have those many publishers but outside goa we do have we can send them to their email ids they will reply after 3 to 6 months and they will definitely reply for sure uh my publishers are a self publishing unit if you send them they definitely read it and then they tell you what's wrong what's good in it and they they tell you to move forward all right so it's it's good to have a review from a bigger uh, you know reading spectrum and publishers i'm sure know better of what is a great story exactly. what is not a great story what happens after that what happens after they respond back to your uh, writing well after they respond they 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 ask you for the blurb the synopsis of the book how is the book what kind you want and of course they go forward with it they right. do everything they do everything but you have to have an idea about what the book will will look like what will be the synopsis uh did you get help from any known person from your surrounding to kind of write your synopsis or to go ahead yeah i asked my english literature friends only to do it and they did it i requested my professors also the english literature ones and i also asked my friend to uh, you know friendly edit the book yeah okay so that that that's a big kudos to i think saint xavier's yeah. uh because uh, the friends in literature department helped him of course the professors helped him that shows a lot of actual literature you know bonding um is there a favorite author coming back to literature do you have a favorite author yes so uh, you mean the Engl- in english in literature in okay, you know okay it will be an indian author and like i said dujoy datta itself dujoy datta why dujoy datta because i like his language you know he uses like different words we we don't know and we tend to google we, we tend to be very inquisitive in googling the word what is the word and know the meaning of okay. it so you like his language yeah. the profoundness of his language exactly. any other author that has uh, you know left an impression with you No. no no the joy that tie is the one okay uh for our young writers not readers writers over there who want to better their skill of writing what tips would you give them well i believe everyone has a story to tell and uh, you know writing always helps it makes a person better so yeah they should write they should write yeah. what do you think they should write you know right uh, they should is there something specific they should write what would be easy is a fiction story would be a easiest one they should start with a short story than novel than a bigger all thing. right so you should start with a short story you know aim for a short story do you give yourself a deadline when you start writing uh not really it's like the publishers do give deadlines but i don't you don't listen. give yourself a deadline how long did it take you to write your book Well, it depends on the length of what you're writing. If it's a short story, it will take almost six to seven months. If it's a novel, one year or so. How long did it take you to write your book, the complete book? Oh, uh, my book! It took me six months to write it. It right. was that much of emotion put yeah. out on paper. How did you name your characters? That's one thing that I think a lot of us struggle with. You know, you 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 want to really make the character real. So, how do you find your names for the characters? Well, I ask my friends itself, like you know, I I I say that I have a story. I have, what would you name the characters? And they give suggestions. All so right. whichever are nice, I take them. Okay. Do you first build the character of the person and then name it, or name the character, or do you first choose a name and then build a character? First, I choose the name and then I build the character. Okay. So it's it's you you like birth a person. Yeah. You actually build a character around it. Was, that's nice because I know. Uh, uh authors writers do it two ways either they build a character yeah. and then name it or they name a character and then 
how is writing a drama like theater that you have done you know the arts or skits very different from writing a novel what's what's the major difference i think it's not different it's the same okay. because from theater i moved to writing a novel it's kind of similar the way i wrote theater i wrote the novel only thing theater has dialogues this is a narration novel is a narration Correct. so that's the that's major, the major yeah. difference uh, in 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 when you write a script and a dialogue you have to be one on one and then the narration is a third person yeah. or it can be character as well it can be a character okay. as well yeah. okay when you completed the book and i know this must be a big thing you took 6 months to complete your book who is the first person you gave it to to read do you remember well i showed it to my mother only <laughs> like i wrote okay. this book and then i went for printing the manuscript and oh, then right. giving it to many people for proofreading oh good so mom read it first yeah. what was the first reaction i mean she didn't read it she just read the synopsis and is like go forward go with it very so. nice all right so your mom read it first yeah. great uh when you had finished your book of course there is a lot of self doubt i think a lot of us out there you know a lot of us uh, especially youngsters when we write something or do a work of art there's a lot of self doubt you know you kind of question yourself 1000 times uh, is this good is this not good is this good is it not good and then we put it away and then you know we don't go back to it did you have self doubt i asked my friendly editor only to see it like you know this i say this is not working properly what should i do then she suggested me many ways and then we worked together and we put it into a proper frame and we did it very nice so when there is a doubt you have to ask another yeah. person and go ahead how did you manage to you started in 8th grade and now you know you finished graduation how did you manage to find time between your academics and doing this creative writing well this is an easy question because you know what i feel in college we just have two semesters and we have exams in october and uh, april may so with that you know the middle time when we have it's normally we are free so we can do it that time well, you're the first youngster who is saying that <laughs> i mean i know of assignments and projects and uh, you know so many other small tests that come Do you not get stressed at all? They're just ten marks, so it's okay. <laughs> That's the first time I'm hearing someone ten marks at all. Okay, so you don't find it very difficult to manage your time. Do you schedule yourself? No, it's like if I'm free, I write. If I'm free, I read. It's just all right. You know. So when you when you have your free time, you write and read. Do you have any other hobbies that you pursue? Uh, I like acting. All right. I do. I direct plays. And wow. Yeah. That's, that's very wholesome directing plays and uh, acting have you acted in anything recently yeah my theater only i do that okay you act in theater and what about uh, directing what have you directed uh the, the as i told you the theater which won the first place i direct i mean the third place i directed it wow okay so you directed it and you yeah. wrote it that's a lot going on one man's plate who thinks it's easy <laughs> to juggle uh, you know the career and of course the writing where do you see yourself in the next 2 years you're joining university and what do you do along with it well plans of my 2 years is to finish the post grad if i get into it and then to work as a writer only that's the best thing ever <laughs> so you've decided to choose writing yeah. as uh, a career for you to go ahead yeah. um and would you write only novels because you've already published one or would you write the arts would you do a multi genre thing a multi genre thing because the arts also i like the arts not that i don't like it and also english novels of course oh lovely so english novels the arts is a lot of writing that's going to be yeah. happening for you uh considering you are young you are in goa do you have any plan to purge yourself forward like you know to put yourself in in a bigger uh, reading uh, you know literary group or going traveling for your writing uh, what any other co curricular plans that you have as far as your writing goes so far no plans so far no plans yeah. all right when have you thought about your the theme of your next book uh not the theme but i like i just imagine how it will be like okay any thought. any 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 secrets you want to tell us and all our viewers no, about you your next book you have to read the book correct <laughs> we have to read the book okay uh so there's when do you think you're going to publish your next book do you have you set a timeline for yourself no right now i'm not started it yet maybe with like one and a half year to go for it okay now comes the very important question did you get criticized for your book Oh uh, so far no criticism yet okay because i just it was just friendly reviews i was getting not okay. no official reviews yes. yet so yeah. how do you think you're going to deal with now that your book is on amazon and flipkart you know people write a lot of reviews just what they feel yeah. like 
um, how do you think you will deal with a critical review, a negative critical review? Oh, got to take it in a positive way. All That's right. the only thing that I can do. Yes. So I'll do that. Okay. Because I know a lot of, a lot of writers and artists who get very uh, hurt because, you know, you're putting something up of yourself out there. What would you like to tell our writers, even who write poems and read it out, and they get probably a little, you know, critical uh, review for it. What would you like to tell them? Oh, well, they should take it in a positive way because leading a positive route, we get to live a positive life. <laughs> All right. Um, is there any message that you have at the back of your head when you wrote Crushed or when you write your Tiyats? Do you write for a message? Well, yeah, I do write it for a message. But, you know, novels are normally normally not of uh, message kind of. It's just like the story that you got it to goes. tell. Yes. Yeah. But did you have a message for Crushed? Uh, well, right now I've just kept it a lot, I kept a lot of suspense so that I should reveal it in the part two. Oh, so, so there's the a mess- part two. Yeah. I did not know about the part two. Okay. So the message will be revealed in part two. Okay. Uh, for all of um, this that you have done, Edma, uh, do you think God has helped you in some way? Yes, definitely, because um, you know these publishers of mine, they asked a lot of money. So I told my parents, like, they ask money, so what should I do? They're like they, I asked God also, I went to the church, I went for mass, and then I asked my parents, like, what should I do? And within the next day, they, they collected that money and they gave me, send it to go forward. Wow, yeah. oh, that's, that's very, ask and you shall receive. Yeah. Yes, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, very, that's very supportive of your parents, and of course, we get our, we get all the goodness that we get from God. So that's something to be very thankful about. Uh, anything else, any other hardship that you remember that you think you, you felt like God stood by you in it? Well, it was, like I said, um, for my first theater when I did it, um, you know, my main lead, we were practicing, we were rehearsing, and my main lead fell sick. He got fever and he was lying on my bed there. And the next day we had a show. All we did is just prayed and then we gave our performance and the results were that we won. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Was did the actor act? Did the yeah, actor yeah. Oh, he, he was doing the main lead. Wow, that's 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 a power of prayer. Yes, I agree with this, uh, and I agree with what Edmund is saying. It does help uh, to have faith for sure. One of the few last questions to ask you as uh, we take your leave, Edmund. Uh, is there any discipline that one needs to follow uh, to be good at anything, and especially mm-hmm. writing? Do you follow any sort of discipline? Um there's nothing as discipline that I follow but I always have this principle of like you know after I do like suppose after I finish writing I'll do something else it's like just like after I finish something after after I finish one activity I'm going to do something so that's that protocol that yeah. I follow so the principle is to do something constantly to yeah. keep yourself busy and occupied yes that's a nice one that's the first time I've heard something like that I know people have a lot of different principles um, when you uh, give someone if there is someone out there and this is all the entire utopia segment is for our viewers to get inspired and to go ahead and you know uh, be inspired by the youth who are doing such amazing work in Goa and of course you know to go ahead and pursue their own goals and dreams and uh, aspirations is there any book uh, that you think is inspirational that they should read oh uh, I have not read inspirational books so far. I have read only fiction because that was my genre, so I had to... Any fiction book that is inspirational that they should read? Well, Chief Friend Zone, My Love, is a really inspirational one. You get to know the teenage stories, how they get to gel with a lot of emotions, Correct. and etc, etc. Yes. So, Edma, what is the title of your book? The title of my book is Crush, You Crushed It. All right. And what kind of a genre of a book this is? It's totally fiction. It's complete fiction? Yeah. All right. All fictional characters. and yeah. Any sci-fi, any thriller, any adventure? In the book, you mean? In the book? Uh, no. No. So it's uh, a fiction yeah. that you've written about teenagers, yes. I believe. All right. Is there anything that you think you left out in the final draft that you want to go ahead and add? Uh, actually, nothing. I didn't leave anything. Just whatever I had, it's in the book. Okay. And how did you come up with the title? Well, we normally have crushes, like in teenage schools, we normally have crushes and then, you know, yes. yeah, there's heartbreak, I mean, there's heart- There's heartbreak, yeah. yes, there's certainly a lot of heartbreak. So, that's how it gets crushed, so oh, yeah. Oh, so crush, crush you, you crushed. crushed it. Exactly. That's a very smart one. 
Thank you so much for being with us here, Edma, and I wish you very, very well for all of your uh, prospects ahead, for your theatre, for all of your writing, and of course, for the sequel to your book. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you.